Captain, how did you survive? Teddy, save me! Who's Teddy? The well-dressed gentleman over there with the bear head! Are you talking about the teddy bear? I guess you could call him that. He's been here for every damn mission. How do you not know who he is? Captain, that shows the teddy bear. Nonsense! He's a... Jesus, hallucination Christ! You're right! Wait, so you think that a teddy bear has been on the battlefield with us? Well, I did. Awesome. He's a moron and crazy. When did the hallucinations start? Hmm, I guess I first started talking to Teddy when I was just a little boy. My dad was a salesman and he was leaving for a few days. We said our I love yous, and he was gone. It wasn't much later, and my mom came into the room in a panic. She was dressed in her battle armor. She wouldn't tell me what was going on, but she told me to stay inside. She told me how much she loved me, and she went through the door. I heard the fighting from inside the house. It didn't last long. I waited, and I waited for her to come back, but she never did. I finally worked up the courage to go outside and find her. I seen her armor and tried to talk to her. It wasn't her, though. She told me to leave the hell alone, and that she wasn't my mother. It was shortly after that when I found her body. She was laying there, stripped down to nothing but her underwear. I guess my neighbors decided... They needed her stuff more than she did. I didn't really leave the house for a few days after that. But it wasn't safe in there either. Those bastards made their way into the house and took everything but my teddy bear. I couldn't do anything about it. There were too many of them. All I could do was wait for my father to return and to save me. But that never happened. After a few days of being hungry, I tried to ask them for food. They told me I could have some, just not any of theirs. I just went back home, and I went to bed hungry again. After lying there, fighting the pains of hunger, I finally fell asleep. I woke up a short while after, and there was food. Real edible food next to my bed. And there was Teddy, saving my life with a simple gift. As the days went on, Teddy made sure I never went hungry. We'd talk some nights. He told me his name was Theodore Fluffington and promised me he would keep me safe. I had a nice little stockpile of food when I worked up the courage to go outside. My neighbors were all gathered together. They were accusing me of stealing their food. I heard a woman say to kill me and get it over with. Some of them even began chanting, Kill the kid! Kill the kid! That's when the man stepped forward. My mom's weapon in his hand and told me to leave. He told me I couldn't take any of the food or water with me. He just banished me to the wasteland as a kid with no way to protect myself. I told them that Teddy wouldn't like that. Before they were able to laugh or mock me, Teddy attacked them and held up his promise. I slept well that night. Early in the morning, the salesman showed up. Teddy was up protecting me like usual. Man one of the armor off the bodies. I told him he could have all of it. I just wanted a lot of food and a dog. Damn, I love that dog. I believe your exact words were Jesus Hemingway Christ. I don't need every damn detail. Just roll the footage and stop narrating. Your ironic echo is not appreciated, Private! But fine, have it your way! 
Here's the next scene! I just don't know what to do anymore, Teddy. He's not eating. He's not drinking. He just lays in his doghouse whining. I know. But I don't think I can do it. Other than you, he's the only friend I've ever had. I don't want to see him go. I know it's the right thing to do. But damn mutant hound. I didn't think he'd get hurt this bad. You will? Tell him I love him before you do. Are you, uh, sure about this, Teddy? What if he comes back while we're gone? You don't know that, Teddy. He could be alive. I guess you're right. We better visit the salesman and let him know we're leaving. But where will you go? I, I don't know. Too many bad memories there. Eat someplace new. That makes sense. I have an idea, if you're interested. Uh, let's hear it. Well, about nine years ago, there was this settlement under development. It was to be a sanctuary for everyone with a gluten allergy. It wasn't until the settlement was almost complete that they realized that most people that claimed to be allergic were just being trendy. There's still a handful of people there, though, and I think you'd fit right in. And what would I do there? You and Teddy could protect the place. Call yourselves the Brotherhood of Iron. With the proper gear, you could be an unstoppable force of good. Uh, what gear? I feel unstoppable already. All right, Shabki. Take me to my new home. Here it is, the headquarters for the Brotherhood of Iron! It's beautiful! Thanks, Shopkeep! Jesus Hawthorne Heights Christ! My past is depressing! Next time on Tales from the Wasteland! Hopefully, something less depressing! But I guess we'll have to wait and see!